Fun. Okay, before we begin, can we just get another round of applause to Stasia for it? Because it's her birthday. If you just say it's her birthday. Oh my gosh. Um, it's the holiday time, and I noticed that there's been an uptick in calls from scammers. Has anyone else been getting calls from scammers lately? Yeah. I'm seeing some nodding heads. I got a call from a scammer the other day, and I knew he was a scammer because immediately he says, Hi! I want to review your insurance information from the car accident you just had. And I don't drive. That's why I, I knew. This is a scam. And even if I did drive, I'd be the best driver out there. So I definitely wouldn't be in an accident. And I was like, okay. All right. Uh, I, I knew I had to keep him on the phone or he'd start scamming some old lady somewhere. So I was like, I'm just going to keep him talking. So I ended up talking to him for 45 minutes. It was actually one of the nicest phone conversations I've ever had. His name was Alex. And then eventually he said, Stacy, will you be my girlfriend? And I said, no, Alex, I want to marry you. And then he hung up the phone, um, which is really upsetting because phone scammers, their one job is to keep you on the phone. So somehow I both scam the scammer, but also scam myself out of a meaningful relationship. So I, I don't know. I, I don't know how I do this. Um, it's really unfortunate. Does anyone else here remember growing up uh, at, at formal events and dinners and holiday functions, there'd be two tables. One would be a table of uh, adults and the other would be a table of singles. Does anyone remember the singles table? Oh, I'm sorry, I meant the children's table. Um, but the thing that they don't tell you about the children's table when you're growing up is that the children's table is full of all children and then one single adult friend. And I have now become that person. Um, I sit with the children, but they don't call it the children's table, they call it the singles table. So I, a single, am sitting with the other singles at the table. And every single dinner, there comes a time when I, I look at the singles and the singles look back at me, and then I look back at them, and then eventually they ask me, are you? A grown-up? And I'm like, that's a good question, fellow single people. I myself sometimes don't even know what I am. So they ask me clarifying questions. They say, well, uh, do you drive a car? And I'm like, nope, don't drive a car. But oh, if I did, I'd drive it so well. You should see me on my bicycle. And then they ask me, uh, they say, do you live in a house? And I'm like, nope, don't do that either. I live in a basement. And then they ask me the final question, which is, are you married? And I'm like, no, I'm not married. I owe you no explanations. You're not my mom. I don't owe you any explanation for my time. And I'm actually doing very well. Thank you. But singles are tough. The, the, the tough nut to crack is, is the fellow singles. Um, I'm trying to get better. My friends are all getting married and having kids. And I'm trying to get better at talking to my friends' kids. But it's difficult because kids sometimes will surprise you with some, some oddities. Um, the other day I was grocery shopping and a child came up to me and said, help, I'm lost. And I was like, oh my God, there has to be an adult here. And then I realized I was the adult. I'm the adult now. So I look at the child and I say, that's okay. That's the good part of the conversation, everyone. It all goes downhill. I say, that's okay. We all feel lost sometimes. I myself am feeling a bit lost in my professional life. And everyone, she walked away. She was like, I can find better help anywhere else. And it's like, honestly, accurate. But uh, I really hope that she found what she was looking for. Or her parent, whatever came first. And you know, it's like, it's okay. Because the next week I saw her at the singles table and I was able to apologize. It's never too late to apologize, contrary to what... You know, some people will say it's never too late. The apology might not mean anything, but at least you've apologized. At least you can say that. Um, it, because it's the holidays, the holidays bring a lot of toxic people back into your life. But, and, and, and I'm tired of toxic people. I'm just so tired of them. Um, I, everyone, listen to me when I tell you this. I, myself, I've dealt with a handful of very toxic people. I remember, who, did anyone here, did anyone shop on Black Friday? Okay, I'm getting a few nodding heads, but you know what? Listen to me. I worked retail about 10 years ago. It was my first Black Friday experience. And when I worked retail, I had to work a 12-hour shift at my store. I started at 6 a.m. I clocked out at 6 p.m. And around 9 a.m., 
I was thinking to myself, I was like, I don't know why people complain about this holiday. This is not that bad. About 30 minutes after I thought that, this woman was walking down my store escalator with this huge box that said Black and Decker on it. It was a waffle iron. And then out of the blue, this other woman comes in. And she says, is that a Black and Decker waffle iron? And the original woman says, yes, that is a Black and Decker waffle iron. And then the second woman just wounds up and like punches her right in the mouth. And then they start gra like grappling over the waffle iron. There was no more waffle irons left. This was the last waffle iron in this Kohl's. So she really wanted it. And then this unrelated woman turns to me and she says, do something. And I looked at her and I couldn't say what I wanted to say, which was, ma'am, I am 130 pounds on a good day. And the majority of that weight is made up of tears I have yet to cry. I can't help these people. These people are beyond my help. But to the original woman's credit, she eventually like grabs the waffle iron and says, this is my waffle iron, and then walks in line to pay for it. But the holidays will bring out all sorts of these toxic people. Toxic people love to talk about the past. They love to say the past is in the past. Um, but then they proceed to just talk about every past thing that you've ever done. Um, but it makes me think of the phrase, the past is in the past, only works for toxic people. You can't apply that in any other aspect of your life. Like, for example, if you go into work on Monday and your boss says, Oh, Stacy, what happened to that report I asked you to finish on Friday? And you say, Well, I don't know. The past is in the past. Your boss would probably get at least very, very upset at you. But yeah, they talk to people. They love to talk about the past. They also like to say, Forgive and forget. Did you all know that the first recorded instance of the phrase forgive and forget was said by O.J. Simpson? <laughs> That's actually not true, but you didn't doubt it. You're like, that's probably accurate. But for all we know, maybe it is. But I wish for just once in my life, people would treat toxic people like toxic plants. Hear me out on this. There are a lot of toxic plants out there. There are also a lot of toxic people. Whenever I've tried to extricate a toxic person from my life, about 10 other normal people crawl out of the woodwork and they say, Stacy, don't let them go. Give them a hug. Think about their childhood. Give them one more chance. But whenever I've seen a toxic plant like poison sumac, people have said, turn the other way. Don't touch that. Don't put that in your mouth. <laughs> well, here's my point that I'd like to bring up. Where was that really good advice, and don't put that in your mouth, when I was in my last relationship? Because if I had heard, don't put that in your mouth, I would have saved a lot of time in therapy. So, something's not adding up. Something's not adding up here. And I'm upset. And that's what the holidays will do to you. I'm going to end with this. Um, thinking about the holidays makes me think of when you were a kid making those little coupons for your parents where it's like, this coupon is good for doing the dishes. This coupon is good for this. And something that people love to romanticize is the idea of breakfast in bed. But breakfast in bed, it's a little different when you're single than when you're with a person. <laughs> like when you're with a person, people are like, oh, did you get breakfast in bed? And they have, like picture like a Belgian waffle and homemade whipped cream. But I don't know, when I eat uh, thawed ego in bed, people say, get up, do your laundry, take your 